Shalom WJC family. It's time for our weekly Torah talk. This week in synagogue, we will be reading Parshat Lech Lecha, the beginning of the story of the Jewish people as we are introduced to Avram, later be, to be Avraham, and his wife Sarai, later to be Sarah. And they are sent on their mission from God to spread the word that there is only one God. And God sends him off with the command, Lech lecha me'artzecha umimoladetecha umibet avicha. Lech lecha, a mysterious combination word, compound phrase, is it from lech, a command to walk, and lecha, you specifically. It's a very odd construction. Uh, and uh, I've been studying with my Chavruta uh, a, a sefer called Nitivot Shalom, a beautiful uh, work of Hasidut from uh, the uh, 20th century in Israel. And Nitivot Shalom has all these wonderful uh, interpretations, uh, and, and particularly the one I want to focus on today has to do with why God uses this strange phrasing, lech lecha, as well as why this umi uh, from your, uh, sorry, me'artzecha, from your land, umi moladetecha, and from the place you were born, umi beit avicha, and from the house of your father, any one of those seems like it would do. And Nitivo Shalom is picking apart, trying to understand this odd phraseology. And from it, we can find something, uh, I think, very important for us and for us at this moment. Because whatever commands, whatever God said to uh, Avraham and Sarah, we take to apply to all of the Jewish people. They were setting the path for us. Maybe that has to do with that lech, that verb holech, because God is saying, go out from your... Uh, homeland, you would say uh, yotze, the verb lehotzia, to go out, like yitziat mitzrayim, the exodus from Egypt. Lech means to walk, to go, which uh, which is an odd phraseology. So uh, among several uh, answers that the Nitivot Shalom gives to this odd phrasing is the following. God says that, you know, Abraham is not just born in any place. He's born in ur the land of the Chaldeans, sort of this proto-Babylonian den of idol worship. It is a religious place, but it's an idolatrous religious place. It's not like Abraham is born into a place where they haven't heard of religion. Specifically, specifically, he's born into an idolatrous place. Umi mola detecha. Uh, the Nitivot Shalom says is actually his family, his wider family, his the people he works with. They're like the priests of this place. They're like the idol makers of this place. Umi Beit Avicha, his father Terach specifically, as we famously know from the Midrash, runs an idol shop. Why would it be that God would pick this child of the most idolatrous place that there is in order to to be the one to recognize that God exists, and to um, bring that recognition to more people. And what Nitivot Shalom says is, in fact, only someone from that background could would be able to do that. That because Avraham was raised in a land of idolatry, in a clan of idolatry, and in a family of idolatry, That when he takes this step, when he holech, when he walks on the path of one God, it shows that anybody could walk on the path of one God. That who better to make the claim that idolatry is not valid than a person who grew up in the most idolatrous place there is. And so Nitivot Shalom says, that's why it says, lech lecha, you specifically, you, Abraham, who is from this time, from this moment, from this place, your tafkid, your purpose is to go out and spread monotheism. That ultimately, you are not a victim of the circumstances of your birth. 
you are a champion of the circumstances of your birth. That God put Abraham in this situation in order that Abraham in this situation could be the forefather of monotheism for the entire world. And that's why it lists those three things to specify these are the things that the the conditions that made it such that uh, that Abraham was able to accomplish the job that it was his tafkid, and the lech lecha is that only Abraham could do it. And the Nitivot Shalom goes on to tell us that this is true for all people, certainly all of the Jewish people, that we are all born into the circumstances that will enable us to do whatever our tafkid, whatever our purpose is, that you have a purpose and I have a purpose. And if the world around us looks messy, if it looks impossible to understand, if things are happening that are inexplicable, then perhaps those are exactly the things that we were put here to address. Maybe those circumstances are the very circumstances that need to exist for you and for me and for all of us to accomplish what God needs us, what God wants us to accomplish here in this world. We spend a lot of time making excuses based on the circumstances in which we find ourselves. Well, what would you expect? from someone in circumstances like that. Abraham, Avraham, and Sarah, they are proof that circumstances are what enable us to be who and what we are supposed to be. I hope that as we study Lech Lecha, as we look at Abraham and his particular path that he had to walk, Lech, not go out from the place, but walk to the place that God will show him and the place that God would show Sarah, that we too will heed that command, recognize that command in our own life. Lech lecha. God has a path for you to walk. What is it? What circumstances have you found yourself in that require you to act in a way that you are now uniquely suited to act? Lech lecha is not a command to Avraham and Sarah, and the people who were with them. Lech Lecha is a command to them and to all of their progeny right up until you and to me. Their spiritual progeny. All of the Jewish people. May we all be able to identify that, that specific tafkid, that specific task. May we all find the strength, the koach, the chizuk, to walk that path, to lech, to holech upon the path that you, lecha, were meant to walk. And may we recognize the circumstances in which we find ourselves, not as a burden for, which, for us to bear, not as a circumstance of which we are the victims, but as a set of conditions that are exactly what we need them to be, to inspire us, to give us the... Um, the experience, and the knowledge to go forward in the way that we were meant to go forward. May we all be successful on our journey. Lech lecha, you, lech lecha, lech li, me. And uh, may we all, on that journey, be able to have as profound an impact for the positive as our four parents, Avraham and Sarah. Shabbat Shalom.